what is going on? It's me, Worst Heavy Gamer, and welcome back to another Hero Spotlight. First look at the brand new hero of the game. Gremor just dropped today, guys, and it doesn't look like it's just one, but it's two of these Marasokas here. We got two-headed Beast Dragon. So the Lee Twins are not alone anymore, guys. As the only twins in the game, we've got the Gremor Dragons here, who are twin brothers stuck together. And uh, they should just go marry the Lee twins and have like Lee babies. Anyways, let's keep going on here, guys, because this guy looks awesome. And I actually want to hurry up and get him uh, as soon as I can. Test him out, see if he's worth it, and maybe try to go a little more stars. You know what I mean? Four, maybe five stars for you guys. Let's see how I feel about him for right now, all right? But uh, we have a few more days to decide if we really really like him or not so we'll see about how it goes but let's go ahead right now guys i'm gonna go ahead first 10 pull of the day can my luck turn around on these pulls or will it suck forever damn looks like i am doomed for life i can never i mean we just started anyways let me not jump the gun but so far the luck sucks for me oh my god are you serious <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Second pull. Ugh, I love you, boy. Ooh, the double-headed dragon. All right, guys, so this dude looks awesome, and it looks like he's cooking up a nice T-bone steak there, and he's uh, about to eat it. Woohoo! Looking sick. I like the card. Very nice card. And kind of funny-looking dragon here, man, if you ask me. Really funny-looking. <laughs> but... Who am I to judge, guys? We just got Grammar. We just got a brand new hero. So if you're excited about a new hero to the account, leave a thumbs up for me, guys. That'll be really awesome. Now let's go ahead and continue on this guy's spotlight and see how good Grammar can really become. And um, I hate that they called him Grammar because I kind of feel like this dude deserves more than just Grammar. He deserves a plural name, meaning more than one because there's two of them. So the Grammar Brothers, double-headed dragon would have been awesome. I wish they just called him the double-headed dragon. I always talk about this at all my games, but like it would have been so much easier to remember this guy as the double-headed dragon. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead to the spotlight. First things first, let's jump him over directly to level 100 because that's the right thing to do. It's only fair to Grammar that we take him to level 100. And then we're going to begin fusing him. I wish there was an auto-fuse button max fuse you know what i'm saying take him to the max but i guess that would not be so good for every hero because some heroes you might not want to take to the max right all right so as we're scrolling around here guys i'm going to open up his abilities and kind of get a little glance a little sneak peek at what's to come i always like to do that because i see the first one says freezing blast so i can already tell it's got to be something about freezing <laughs> very insightful Double threat. Ooh, that one looks good. So, this guy, first hand, because I've been at work all day, I've not really gotten a chance to look at this guy at all. But at first glance, seems like Fire and Ice, Breathing Dragon, um, Firestorm, and Ring of Fire. Mm, sounds like pretty cool abilities here. And I'm pretty sure this guy, yep, yep, Moral Fear. He's got an Awakening, guys, which we'll, we will actually begin in this video. We will begin his awakening, so I'm actually really excited about that as well. And here we go. This is orange plus one. And let's take it to orange plus two. This will max him out. Perfect. So orange plus two maxed out. I'm going to give him all of these pieces here because... Uh... Oh! Alright, that was a quick one. I don't know what was that about. Connection problem. But let's go ahead. What the? Alright. Look at that connection problem. Messed me up. Let's go back. And then go back. That should fix him. Yes, I already had equipped it. And that's why it wasn't working. All right, boys and girls. So here we are. Orange plus two grammar. Just for your eyes only here. Let's begin the spotlight with an official abilities review. And let's take a look at what they are all about. And my abilities are really low right now because I just awakened Batman. So if you haven't seen that video yet, you better go watch that video because he's freaking awesome. But right now, finish this video first. So let's go ahead. Freezing Blast is his um, ultimate ability here. Grammar blasts the area in front of him with Frigid Air, temporarily disarming enemies within range as well as dealing damage over time. Wow. And he's got an attribute, an ice attribute, it looks like. So really cool. Um, we can't really do anything with attributes at the moment except for Sylvie, but 
I have a good feeling that more heroes will come later on that will have to do something with attributes. I'm pretty sure about that, but here we go. Oh, this one, two attributes, so that's really nice. Fire and ice, so I'm guessing... Wait a minute. Do we have another hero for my all-freeze team? Whoa, hold it right there. This could be another hero for my all-freeze team, guys. That's really sick. You guys already know I'm all about that freeze team. Um, but double threat... One of Grammar's heads breathes flames while the other one shoots out ice. Both of them dealing magic damage. Oh, what? Wow. All right. So double damage on that one. That one seems pretty cool. I wonder how much damage they will actually do. So Firestorm. Grammar summons a huge Firestorm dealing magic damage as well as burning da wait, burning damage over time to enemies in front of him. Ooh, really sick. So more damage over time. So this guy seems like a really sick damage. You know what I mean? Um, a dot hero. Dot stands for damage over time, if you didn't already know. A uh, ring of fire. Grammar spits a ring of fire, which deals damage to an enemy, then continues to move across the battlefield for a short time. Whoa, this one is also pretty sick. So, uh, just quickly glancing at these abilities, guys. So, we got a DPS ability here that deals damage. We got firestorms that deals damage and damage over time. Double threat, which deals damage. And the freezing blast, which freezes, right, and deals damage. So, a really sick DPS hero, if you ask me, right away. So, first glance, seems like a really cool magic DPS hero right there. Now, let's take a look at what his awakened um, ability will be when I finally awaken him here. Every time Grammar deals damage to an enemy, the enemy magic armor will be reduced for 3 seconds. What? So every time he re he damages, deals damage to an enemy, their magic armor will be reduced for 3 seconds. Huh, that's kind of strange because what if he attacks consecutively the same hero in the front? You're, you're guessing he's going to be attacking the same hero in the front. Is his armor going to keep decreasing? That is the only question that I have, but it seems like it will. So... Eventually, this guy, just by attacking, once you awaken him, just by him attacking, you might be able to reduce a certain enemy's armor to barely nothing, and then eventually they will just die out because of really, really low armor. So, wow, that actually doesn't seem so bad. Alright, so, right now I can only really work on one of them, and let me see if anything changes. Alright, so this one deals 90 freezing damage, this is the double threat damage and burning damage so those are the two it's not that high 90 is not that high but i guess if you combine them it's a lot better deals a base of 302 damage 250 damage over time okay and this one deals a base of 690 damage so that's pretty good the ring of fire all right guys so abilities seem really really cool i'm liking the abilities already but i think the best thing to do is take this guy in a field test and let's give him a shot and see what he looks like in action all right so let's go but hold it right there. You thought I was going to take him on a field test, but not yet, guys. We're going to the Heroic Academy. First things first, let's boost him up a little bit, right? Why test him out if you're not going to boost him? So let's see exactly what we're going to do here. Um, so we have the first two are going to be increase physical armor or increase magic armor. I'm going to go with physical just for the fact that physical armor right now is... Um, you know better right now because the arena is all about physical heroes in my server depending on which server you're on and how things are looking you might want to you know what i mean roll with that armor if you're facing a lot of magic heroes in your arena then maybe change your armor around but for me it's all about physical next set of skills here increase healing ratio uh reduce spell recovery time or increase dot damage whoa this one seems like a this one seems like an easy one guys this guy is all about the dot damage so we're gonna go with that I just want him to deal more dot damage because it seems like that's more important for uh, Dremer than the other two. Even though reducing spell recovery is not bad, that's actually a pretty cool ability. I'm going to roll with this right now. Alright, so let's go on to the next one here and increase hit recovery. Increase dodge rating. Aha! So increasing hit recovery, what this does is increases your chance of preventing a stun on your hero, which is actually not that bad. Um, or if he does get stunned, he gets stunned for a lot shorter. I'm pretty sure that's what hit recovery is. And dodge, you already know what dodge is. I'm not sure if this guy is a high dodge. So I'm going to go with hit recovery for this one. To be honest, because uh, if he already has low dodge, then just giving him a few extra dodge points is not going to do anything. You're kind of just wasting that ability. At least with this, you have a chance. You know what I mean? Hit recovery, 12.5%. So um, that's recovering from a stun, right? If you don't already know that. Next one is energy efficiency. Let's go with efficiency. 
energy bonus comes at the end of waves guys all right so if you're talking about crucible of fire you want to go with bonuses but during a fight energy uh, efficiency is more is a, a better one increased magic attack increased magic pierce rating or overall increased ability levels for this it's always ability levels because you want all your abilities to be better except you know instead of just one magic resistance or physical resistance we're gonna go with physical resistance here because once you roll with physical you kind of have to just go with you know the flow the rest of the way next up increase healing recovery new no, we're gonna go with max health guys max health is the way to go with this guy he doesn't even have any really healing and we're not using healers at all right now so it doesn't even matter increase energy recovery that's not bad right there increase chance of resisting silence or increase kill bonus resistance all right so kill bonus resistance uh, is just when this guy is killed in the battle you resist the chance of your opponent getting the bonus energy that they would get from killing any hero right so that's what kill bonus resistance is it's okay but i don't think it's that great um silence is actually pretty good but i'm gonna go with increasing energy recovery for this one because energy is very important and the more you know obviously the more attacks the more ultimates that you can get off in a battle the more successful you're going to be in this game all right so that's what it comes down to let's go with physical toughness here because we went with physical all around anyway so that's how you do it and then for the last one here we have increased magic crit damage or we increase magic crit rating now this one is a little tricky guys because you're gonna go with either a rating which guarantee well not guarantees but gives you a better chance to get crits or you're gonna go with crit damage which when you do get crits you get more damage out of your crits all right so that's kind of what you want to go with uh it'd be nice to go with crit damage but i feel like getting more crits is more important right so i'm gonna go with crit rating so if I have a hero that I know already has a high crit rating, then I would probably go ahead and give him the crit damage. But I don't know if this guy has a high crit rating already. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm give him crit rating for now. If anything, I can always change later on. But for now, I think it's pretty good to leave him like this. Alright guys, so Heroic Academy is done. Now it's finally time to take this guy into some kind of a campaign so we can check out his abilities now. All right, here we go, guys. We're in a campaign battle. Let's see what this guy can do right now. So, or these guys. Oh, Dodge is pretty good right there. All right. Whoa, what is going on? What? That's crazy. That was a lot of damage right there. Uh, what? All right, don't tell me these guys are immune to physical. All right, that's fine. Immune to physical is okay. All right, so here we go, guys. That, yo, that double threat ability is insane. So they both attack with fire and ice, and it seems to be doing a lot of damage. And this is only level 2, and I'm like in chapter 16 here, which is a pretty high chapter. And it's doing really well. Wow. I'm kind of impressed. I'm actually really impressed. So let's go ahead and use his ultimate here. Let's go ultimate. What is he going to do? Ultimate? Freeze him. Now, don't forget, it's very low. Damn, that ability is insane. That double threat ability seems to be really good, guys. Now, these abilities are low, so it might not affect all heroes, like I said before. And he's dead. All right, so health might not be that good. But damn. All right, let's go. Oh, actually, I was in chapter 15. I'm going to go to chapter 17, the last chapter here, guys. But I want to put some protection in front of him because I feel like he's going to... His health is not that great. So let's put somebody who doesn't really deal much damage. And uh, typically, let me... Typically, I go with Leon. Because Leon... Alright, let's go with Torsen. Even better. Because Leon actually boosts his magic defense here. But Torsen will just tank everything. So let's go ahead. Let's see. So this last stage of 17... Oh my god. Those girls are in the back. are about to kill me here. Damn it, girls. Alright, here we go. Freezes. And he's dead. God damn it. So health-wise, not good at all, guys. Lo seems to be very weak. Probably going to be easily countered in Arena. Right there. One of your backliners, you're dead. Let's put him here. Let's see what he can do. So that's off the bat right there. Critic. Worst effing critic. That's me. But it seems to be doing a lot of damage. Alright, go ahead. Freeze him up here. And the ability's too low. They're, they're going right through Torsen. I don't understand why they're just blowing through Torsen here. Alright, that ability does a lot as well here. Yo, these guys just destroyed 7-star Torsen. So, obviously, this level is too hard for him. Let's take him here. Torsen sucks. 
I don't know why the hell I'm even using Torsen to block him, but that's a terrible idea. So here we go. Let's go. This is the final test right here. Double fire and ice. That looks good. Double threat. Oh, oh, oh. Surely just drew him near, which means they're going to kill him. They're going to slaughter the dragon. And come on. Can he survive this? I doubt it. Oh, my God. That was the firestorm, I think, ability that just went through the bottom and destroyed everybody. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Oh, don't kill him. Oh, wow. He survived. Unbelievable. I'm surprised he survived that because I thought he was a goner for sure. All right. So he's barely hanging on by a mere thread here. So, I mean, I've kind of got the hang of the abilities here, guys. It seems very straightforward. Double threat is awesome, but he's dead. Yep. All right. He's dead right there. Very, very dead. So let's go ahead. Now, he's a midliner. If you didn't already know, he is a midline hero. So there is uh, an advantage to having a midline hero because you can kind of hide him a little bit in between your tanks and your backliners so there's an advantage to being a midliner because it seemed like uh, he's only three stars and obviously three stars not enchanted at all any of his items and he's at 30,000 HP which is actually not bad but physical armor seems to be really really weak very very weak to physical and like I said before physical is running the game right now so He's pretty. He's got decent magic armor there. Dodge 80 is okay, and then uh, the bonuses that I gave him there. So, hmm, not that great defensively, but offensively I think he's awesome. I really, really do love what I'm seeing from offense. This not only freezes, but it does damage. I love that double threat. Seems to be sick. Firestorm. Wow, this did a lot of damage, guys. Very, very cool. And then Ring of Fire is also another DPS hero, so not bad. I do like Gremor a whole lot here. Wow. I am kind of impressed by this guy. I have a feeling he's going to be pretty tricky to deal with in a lot of arena battles if you don't have the right setup against him because he's going to freeze you up, he's going to deal a lot of damage, and then once he's awakened, he's going to be lowering your magic armor. So running him on a cool magic team, you know what I mean, uh, sounds pretty sick, but that's just in theory right now, right? So for now, guys, let's go on to the final step that I was going to show you. And that is, let's start his awakening. Let's see what we can do about this. Because I have a Celestial Potion, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the Celestial Potion. The Deadly Poison has been gotten. <laughs> and then we're going to craft. Let's go give him this. Kapuya. There we go. Perfect. So we've got his final item piece there. Let's complete this one. And what does he have to do for the second part? He's got to do... The Dwarven Forge, which is not available today, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait for... So I have to... That, that three days plus two... Probably five days before I can awaken him next now. So that's kind of a bummer. But either way, I think it'll be alright. We can wait a little longer to get this guy finally awakened here. Because I am super excited to keep using Dremor in my battles here, guys. So I'm going to end this spotlight here. I will catch you guys next time. If you want to see a lot more of Dremor, don't forget, check me out. Every weekend, 3 o'clock, I stream right here on YouTube. And Thursday nights, I'm on Twitch. Alright, guys? But for now, I will be ending this off here. I will catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunter Spotlight video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, guys. Peace out.